Thanks, Emmett. Jack Kaiser has been called the guru of L.A.'s economy. And when it comes to business crises, he is known to be prepared. Thanks for joining us. We're glad to have you here. Always fun to be here. Now, as you've seen, we've been talking about the dot-com bust. What would you say is the total impact that the bust had on the business community? It brought, what would you say, cold reality back to the business community. There was so much hype out there, and people did not take into advantage account how do people really operate what does business really need we're still digging out from uh, some of the uh, debris of the uh, dot-com bust especially in the Bay Area when it hit it hit hard oh it was it was hard and it was fast and a lot of people uh, were left sort of you know well I took a job where what am I gonna go now and they're still looking now out of all disasters of course there's always something that grows out of the ashes mm -hmm. the lessons that we've learned can you talk about the positive changes well you're seeing uh, dot-com technology used in a more real-world way. You're seeing some very interesting uh, applications, for example, retailing. Everybody said, oh, the bricks are going to be gone, it's going to be clicks. Mm -hmm. uh, the bricks are now using the clicks, and you can see some very innovative technology, like uh, if you go to Borders and sign up once a week, you get a coupon and an uh, email from Borders, and it just constantly keeps them in, uh, in your, your mind. And mm -hmm. so that's a very effective way. But business is using it in a whole variety of ways. You talked about this a little bit, but I'm sure there's more. Can you talk about how everything is high-tech now is obviously in most industries and most businesses what are some of the bad sides maybe about that we have to think you now have competition all over the globe mm -hmm. uh, it's just not uh, down the road in the next state uh, you are now with technology in a global market and you're seeing it transform so many industries like the apparel industry you design it here you transmit it uh, to Asia electronically and then mm -hmm. they make it there and ship it in so it's a, it's a rough, tumble world out there. It's great for the consumers, for the buyers, because they have so many options, right, at their fingertips, but it's really tough for the, for the businesses. It, it's tough for the business community, but there is another advantage. If you're looking for information, you just go and surf on the web, and most business people, uh, you can get it 24 hours a day, and uh, sometimes you can find some very interesting information. Still so much room for growth. What do you see in the future? What are the trends? Oh, there's just, it's, it's hard to say because so many industries are being transformed by technology and you just go down, say, international trade. That doesn't sound like it's being transformed. Yes, it is. The apparel industry, uh, the furniture manufacturing industry, retailing, of course, uh, financial services, almost any industry is feeling the impact. A lot of opportunity, but you've always got to keep uh, your radar on right. and be informed. Okay. Now, the Los Angeles County Economic Development Corporation, for short, is LAEDC. -E 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 it's a nonprofit organization. Right. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about the different services and the resources that it provides? Well, we have uh, no cost business ombudsman. We have people stationed all around Los Angeles County. And if you're an entrepreneur, you need help getting a permit, you need to find workforce. Uh, you need a new location. You can call our office and we will provide uh, this service for you. And then every so often we put out what we call the business resource guide. And that covers all types of help for the business community. And uh, you look through it, say, I need financing. I want to know about a resource for this industry. It's all there. And uh, we, we try to make it uh, very worthwhile and very usable for the businessman. A lot of people don't realize that there are these resources out there. Sometimes you just got to reach out and grab them to get their attention and let them know that you're there to help. Oh, yeah. And a lot of times, uh, you know, there's tax credits that the business person doesn't right. know. And you need to call one of our regional managers and they can go through and say, ah, oh, did you were aware that you made this investment? Uh, you qualify. So they have to be alert. You just can't sit back and just say, assume success is going to fall in your lap. Right, you got to take control. Mm -hmm. Okay, today, as you know, we are talking about the uh, businesses that have survived the dot-com bust. What's your advice for entrepreneurs if they see signs that their industry is making kind of a bad turn? Uh, well, they have to say, okay, what is my fallback position? And they constantly have to scan and say, okay, if something is, looks like it's turning bad, uh, what is the old line? You take a lemon and you make lemonade. See if there's an opportunity for you. So always be alert, be informed. That's the that's the key word right there. Informed. Do you think people are gun shy a little bit after seeing what happened? They're going to say, "Oof, that's scary. I don't want to go there. It could happen again." What do you think? Does lightning oh. strike twice? Uh, light, no, I think this time lightning struck so hard that it's uh, people sort of have more real world. And the key thing is always say. What does my customer really want? Listen to your customer, be it whether a consumer or another business. And so I think that's the, that's the real advice. Mm -hmm. Just be realistic. Don't stick carried away by all this hype. So people this time around are smarter. A oh, lot smarter, and you're seeing some exciting applications out there. Fantastic. Lots of great information. Thank you so much for you're being welcome. here. And we're going to tell you how to reach Jack Heiser of the Los Angeles County Economic Corporation right after this break. Stick around.